it's hot in Mississippi, boys. Y'all know what day it is. Snap on Friday. Finally, Friday. Let's see what he's got. You guys, come on. Before we get started today, I got something pretty cool for all you. Right. This come all the way from the United Kingdom from Darren and Lynn in Worcester, United Kingdom. And there's a letter, a copy of the letter that he wrote. Yeah. But they make handmade stuff and sell it on Etsy. So you have to check this out right here. He sent that to you. Uh-oh. Finally Friday. I can see that already. <laughs> oh, that is cool right there. Now that is pretty cool. I'm going to put this in my shop. That's all right. You can smell it. I don't know what kind of wood you use. It smells good, though. It smell like England. Yeah, it must be where it is. <laughs> That's cool, Finally though. Friday. Snap on those. That's pretty good. I appreciate Show it. His, he's got his Etsy store name on that list. Yeah, seen the uh, something and, uh, tools. That way you guys can check them out. The JW Craftsman Studio. Oh, that's his email. Where Let's is see, it? Uh, he listed it on there. Right here. JW Craft Studio. On Etsy. on Etsy. So you guys check him out on Etsy. Because that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, that's pretty neat right there. Appreciate he sent us some of these. So that's really awesome. I get good use out of this. I guarantee you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hot, hot, hot. Did you get to turn the air conditioner on this morning before you left? Yeah. I leave the air conditioner going all night, the Good overhead God. unit. Son, it's hot, ain't it? Bad hot. But it was, uh, what, the other day, somewhere or another, in the truck, that's what I'm talking about. I, said, this, I don't know how hot it is out today, but it's hot. Got in the truck, said it was 89 degrees. I said, that son of a bitch is lying, but it is. <laughs> but I didn't realize that the humidity was like an 80%, so I think this is still the heat index around 101 that day. Yeah, it's bad. We was pulling that motor this morning. And I was like, man, my elbow was dripping. Sweat running down it. I said, this is ridiculous. We got two fans running wide, <laughs> <one>. wide open. <laughs> Sweat still just streaming off. That's why I told you while I go, oh, Kevin didn't look too healthy in there while I go. I said, he looked like he's in bad shape. It's hot in there today. Looks like you got some new tools in finally. Yeah, we got a couple shipments in the other day. We got some more coming in today, actually. Good uh, deal. I actually got, been waiting on these a while. A CTR 768. Is long that the neck brushless? Brute. No, it's not the brushless. That's just the long neck brute. The brushless, I think, uh, hopefully today. We'll see. We've done so four of them today. And then, of course, the CTR 717. The long neck quarter inch. That's a good thing. You gotta hurry up and get one of them brutes or the brushless thing. I'm, yeah. I'm ready for one of them. Let me see if they, one of them show up. Guess what I found? I found my eight millimeter socket. Did you? <laughs> Guess where it was at? Where at? You know, I bought those cordless charging lights from you, you know, the, the wireless charging ones yeah. right there. The only thing was stuck on the, like, I didn't put my lights <laughs> back on charge because I didn't run them that long that day. I used that eight millimeter. Didn't even notice it. It was stuck on the back bottom. I went to put it on the pad and it was crooked. I'm like, of course it was dark up in my toolbox, you know, where I got my wireless charger. I was like, why's that thing crooked? I stuck my finger in there and I was like, oh, look what I done found. That's always good right there. So it was stuck on my light. I was like, man, I thought that thing was gone forever. That hurt your feelings then. Yeah, I was proud to have it back. Let me see. Proud to have they... it back. Somebody didn't trade in a meal junkie. I'm sending that one off for repair. 
I'm managing that. That one and this one, both. Batteries falling out of them. I don't know what happened with this one. They started taking it apart. Then he said, heck with it, just send it off. I don't know what he planned on doing once he got it apart. <laughs> well, we're gonna send both them off though. Well, did you get anything else new in? Got these in the other day. The T72 MP, the adjustable. Yeah. Quarter inch 72 tooth. He's pretty nice right here. Pretty cool. We had the 38 like this a long time ago. Yeah, we got all the colors in these two. Got 11 of them in. That's good. Finally getting some tools in. Yeah. How much is them boogers? I, I ain't think one of them. Somewhere around about 155 or so. But of course, I got them a little bit less than that. I ain't got one of them. I think I got it on promo for around about 130. What's it got? Like a slots? Yeah. Like a steering box gear. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Of course, like I said, we had the 38s ones. I didn't think about it at the time. I was like, I'm not sure what anybody would want, why you'd want to uh, turn it and stuff. But then after thinking about it, like getting back behind something. Mm hmm. Well, you, if it's right here, you ain't got to get your hand away over here. You can turn it and get you back over on this side of it. Still have room to get yep. through something. All right, pretty handy. Let me get one of them. Imagine you want the soft grip and red. Yeah, be fine. <laughs> That'll be fine. I ain't got one, so that'll work. Go in the ratchet door with the other 600 of them. <laughs> That's about right. It's <laughs> nice when you need them, you got them. A lot of people have ratchet drawers. Clay got a ratchet toolbox. <laughs> That's what we was talking about, like some of the guys that come to the meetup, they're like, man, you got a ton of ratchets. You got a ton of ratchets. Yeah. I said, I don't understand why you beat those three or four up that you keep on top of that roll car. I said, that's the only ones I use. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. It's just the only ones I use. The rest of them is there just in case. That's it. <laughs> oh, wait. Well. Really, really don't want to use a hand ratchet if I can get that electric ratchet no, to it. I don't either. But if I can get that electric ratchet in there, them electric ratchicadas work a whole lot better. Yeah, that's what uh, I saw when somebody else, that's what I told them. I said, I'd waste an hour of time trying to get the electric electric ratchet to it instead of grabbing a thinner <laughs> hand same, ratchet with the it reach way. right up there easy. Like, now I can I, work this up in there real if quick. If I get one of them impacts in there, it don't matter if I have to use three extensions and two swivels, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Anytime I can push a button instead of having to pull or push, then this Absolutely. Gonna, that's what you buy them for, right? Yeah. Might as well use them. And I'm gonna tell you, people will say, oh, you shouldn't use that much force on them manually. Man, I don't know how I ain't broke the battery out of mine. Cause I break crap loose with them that, like if my battery breaks out of mine, I ain't gonna fuss. I'm just gonna come in here and hand it to you and be like, send it off, whatever it costs. Well, I know like Snap-on says like the long neck, the brute and the regular one is supposed to hold like 210 or 215 foot pounds of manual yeah. torque. Uh, I seen where guys had it like one I've of these. I put out on it before, like, and it be popping and cracking. Sounds like it's fixing yeah. the brake. I seen where guys you put them on demos just to see how much, and they're pulling their stuff off the ground. Yeah, I mean that's they can take a lot more than what people think yeah, they can. Or, now, I'm not advertising that you guys do that, because <laughs> here's the thing. And I want to be hurt, very man. clear in this. I don't know if maybe I need to put it in text. I do that to my crap because I know I've got a good dealer that'll stand behind it. Now, if you got one of these a-hole dealers That's, that yeah. want to be like, hey, did you, uh, you didn't buy that from me, did you? I wouldn't advise doing that. I would advise taking a breaker bar <laughs> and then going after it. I had a fella come up to me today. There's a, a customer of mine here in town that he calls me when he needs something. I ain't seen them in probably three or four months. They've been a little bit scared of the COVID and all that stuff, so they ain't been around. But he called me when they need something. He's like, hey, he's like, I got some screwdrivers that I need to replace and stuff if you don't mind. I said, yes, I don't mind. I swing by there and do it. Boy, he brought the extension out to me also. He's like, look, he said, I, he said, I need to buy another extension. I said, what's wrong with the one you got? He's like, I just need to buy another one. 
And I said, well, I want that one out for you. Look at this extension. This is supposed to be a wobble joint. Man, she's had some wire on her, ain't she? I'm, I'm gonna think they use it as a punch too, a little bit. Yeah, I've done that too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look, I said, I warranted that. You gotta do you know? it, you gotta do it. Yeah, I'm gonna warrant it out. I ain't gonna worry about it. It ain't that big of a deal. And, but yeah, a lot of guys ain't gonna do that. I, well, I know a lot of people talk about, oh, I don't buy that snap on power tools. There ain't no count, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Man, I built two big decks with my snap on screw gun. And like this last, it was July 5th when I did this last. It's hotter than hell the day before yeah. July. That gun stayed out there in the sun because I didn't buy enough decking boards. Well, let me back up. I bought enough decking boards for the original 10 by 10 that we decided to do. Then we decided to do it bigger. So I had to go back and buy them. So that gun laid out there in the sun the whole time while I drove back to town, got the boards, bought more screws, went back, all out. That damn gun was so hot you couldn't hardly touch it. Yeah. And I'd run it all day long because I'm the idiot that's, I'm not going to buy two sizes of screws. Like I'm not going to buy the two inch to put my decking on and the three inch to put it together. <laughs> if I need three inch, everything's getting three inch screws. That's just how I roll. Right or wrong, that's just how That I is do. what it is. Though. So that gun, and I built it on, you know, 16 inch centers. So that gun put three screws and every single board on every single joist that. for a 12 by 10. And I used one full battery and maybe three boards off the other battery. And- uh, So you talking about, you use the CT761 QC. Yeah. Well, it's like this. It's like that, but it's got the bit driver it. in it. Yeah. Yeah. This, this thing right here on. That's two decks that I run with it. And I used, you know, the snap on little snap-on screw bits when I did it because I can get them warranted. Yeah, yeah, they cost me like five or ten dollars a piece, but I the last time I built my deck, I used the little Irwin cheap ones you buy at the yeah. hardware store. It's in the bucket up there. It's like 35 cents to a dollar a piece, whatever yeah. they are. I think I bought like five of them, and all five of them was broke by the time it was <laughs> over with. Well, that snap-on bit's still going, and I've tried to kill it. I've only had to warranty that thing one time yeah. In probably three years. <laughs> well, yeah. So I, I think I'll lose it before I end up having to warrant it. You got the same bit set I got, I think, with the little red plastic case. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I think I'm going to have to buy another fit that says bit for mine. One of them, not the Posi drive, just the regular number two bit. Because yeah. me and my son both use them at the house, too. And I'm going to blame it on him. I'm sure he's going to blame it on me. But one of us lost the, one of the bits out there. Yeah. Well, when and, uh, I bought, when I built my barn, I used those T25 screw heads. Yeah. And I bought the T25 bit from you because yeah. I kept breaking the rest of them. Because if you guys ain't never run screws in green oak, now I didn't pre-drill them. I bought what they call cutter screws. It's got the little slash in them. Yep. And the Torx bits. And I run every single one of them in. And that snap-on bit did three quarters of my barn where the other bit did one wall through three bits. Yeah. So I was like, I'll, I'll give Hamilton $10. Yeah, they about I'll, $10 a piece for a bit, but they're lifetime warranty. But though, I didn't I mean. break it. The, the thing lasted the whole time. Yeah. You know that, that one bit set I got, it's got the long bits in it. It's like the three inch bits. The only thing I wish they was magnetized because it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. I need to get one of those magnetizers and just run it over it and use it. But yeah, good stuff. People don't fuss about it being expensive, but ain't nobody fussing about the quality. My on my bit set, the uh, little bit holder, I don't think I got one of them right now. But it's the when it plugs into the quick change chuck that you put your bits in. Yeah, yeah. it uh, mine's twisted. It never broke. It twisted though. Does Snap on make one of those? It's in that bit set, or you might have the different bits. I don't have the does. same. I, mine don't I, have the bit. The that, like um, I've got a Dewalt bit holder. I bring mine with me. And that way I show it on video next week too. Well, if Snap on like. makes one of those bits, order me one of them. All right. I need one of them. Yeah, your box ought to have a spot for it that it you does. put it in. Like it's got like two or three empty holes in it. Yeah. I didn't know it was supposed to have I, that was probably somebody warranty that out and I didn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can give my dealer hail like that because, you know, I got a cold cool dealer. Some of you guys can't do that. I can't believe you ain't sold this quarter inch breaker bar. 
this thing right here this will right be here. the hottest thing going. I sold the longer ones. I never sold the short one, though. That bit right here is what you're talking about? Yep. I get you one of them. I think it's probably $199, but it's I'll end up losing the bits before I warrant them all out. <coughs> it's worth every penny of it, though. I guarantee you. Of course, I ain't never broke one of them. But now I don't have to worry about it. If I break one, it don't matter. Yep. I'm proud to see you getting some tools in again. Yeah. I definitely want to try one of them brushless ratchets though, because that's well, I was be hoping they'd thing. be in this week, because last week they told me that I'd have them this week, but I, they wasn't on in anything that came in yesterday, so. Figures. Bastards. Wish you for <laughs> next week. Yeah. Yeah, wish you for next week. Oh my. Go from there and see what we got. Well, I guess they're going to get in here and take out some torque converter bolts and yeah, hopefully the, have an empty hole before we leave this evening. The truck's up on the lift now. We can start for Monday and just take it out today and put it in Monday. It'll be a good day. Y'all could have it done today. We could. But at 5 o'clock, you know what time that is? Beer 30. Michelob Ultra 30. And that's what's going to happen. Because that ain't somebody's, like, that ain't got to be done today because if they don't drive to the hospital, they ain't going to be alive. That thing can wait till Monday. Yeah. It'll be all right. It's too dang hot being there working too much anyway. That's true. It's bad hot. All right, guys. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and press that button. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you later.